Hello, and in today's video, we are going to say goodbye to Adobe Color and hello to just about anything else. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's not that bad. Uh, but we are going to analyze some of the problems that I've found with Adobe Color on some tricky images that have made me realize that it's probably not the best profile to stick to. The problem is it's the default profile inside Adobe Camera Raw and Lightroom. So what I wanna show you is an alternative to the uh, Adobe Color profile and also how you can make it so that every image you pull in from the camera that you have will default to that other profile instead of Adobe Color. For a good starting point. So this image, this is the image that actually made me realize there's an issue with Adobe Color, and it might not seem like it. This is the Mildred B. Cooper Church in Arkansas. And as I was processing this image, I'm just gonna do my typical process and then I'll explain it to you. So I'm gonna drop these highlights a little bit here so I can see more of what's happening in that sky, open up these shadows a little bit, and then make this a lot brighter. I wanted this to feel like, you know, you're in, you've just walked into this church and it just consumes you. There was a lot of shadows because I wasn't shooting in a um, over cast day. So I had to deal with what I had to deal with very extreme lighting conditions, but we can still make it beautiful. However, as I started to move this stuff, I started to look up here at the sky, specifically at this skylight area where it looks like we have some chromatic aberration on the edges of our building here, which is easy to fix. If you go into the optics section and just say, you know, defringe or remove chromatic aberration. But when I press that, it doesn't remove that completely. There's still an issue there. It also feels like the blue in these spaces is stronger towards the areas where we have line work. And then as it gets outside of that high contrast area, it, it fades away. It's a really interesting thing that's happening in this image that I just didn't like too much. So when I went back over here to uh, my light section and started to look at my profiles, I started changing this to something like a linear profile. And here we start to see that that's much cleaner color there very well recovered highlights. And many people actually like linear profiles for this reason. The problem is we lose contrast everywhere when we put a linear profile on. So that got me into thinking about, well, what do I have inside my camera when I shoot that could help me here? Now, I typically shoot in the camera neutral profile on my Sony A1, and many people don't realize this, but if you click in the browse profile section, you can go to this section here called camera matching. And if you're shooting in RAW, every single shot that you pull into Adobe Camera or Lightroom will have the profiles that are on the back of your camera nestled right here inside of Adobe Camera Raw and Lightroom inside this camera matching section. That's why if you click on this, you might not see this camera NT profile because that is Sony's version of their neutral-ish profile. Now, I have this favorited, so if I press the star on there, that will make sure that that shows up in this drop down list as something that I can click and click on pretty easily to get away from Adobe Color. But all of these profiles that you see here are going to be the ones that match your camera. Every manufacturer has a different uh, set of profiles that is inside your camera. My Nikon camera, the Nikon ZF has like 20 different profiles in there. Whereas my Sony A1, you can see here only has nine. So that's not a problem though. I like this camera NT or camera neutral profile almost more than something like a linear profile because I feel like it makes everything way too flat. As a matter of fact, when I'm working on a linear profile, my first instinct is to bring the contrast up and then start bringing up the exposure. And then guess what? I pretty much get the same thing I had if I were to have just left this as the camera neutral profile. That way I don't have to sacrifice the movement of these sliders simply because I'm using an, a uh, linear profile. Now, if you like linear profiles, there's nothing wrong with that. I typically don't use them very much in my workflow. I will stick to the camera NT profile. And then here I will drop this down because I don't need that much contrast and that much light. So that's about where I would want this to be something maybe right around in here. Okay. Uh, maybe even look at my whites here and drop those just a little bit more and then maybe even increase those blacks just a little bit more. And there I kind of have what I would look at as um, uh, the, the benefits of a linear profile, but using the camera neutral profile from my Sony camera. So now here's the problem. If you look at these profiles, do you see anywhere in here where you can right click and say, make this the default profile? No, if you go to add to favorites, sure, we can put it in our favorites so we can always come to this drop down here and have access to our camera NT, our linear profile, and even our Adobe color profile, which look at the amount of contrast that we have in this Adobe color profile versus something that should be more of a, a neutralish image anyway. You see, I feel like what happens with those Adobe color profiles is they force a lot of uh, contrast in the image and force a lot of color into the image. Now you could go with something like, I don't know, the Adobe 
Adobe Standard profile, which is slightly better. Um, and if you want to go with Adobe Standard because your camera doesn't have a camera neutral profile or you don't like the camera neutral profile, I would recommend the Adobe Standard profile. But at this point, unless I accidentally uh, don't change it when I'm working and I'm just grooving and I'm moving through, I'm pretty much not working in Adobe Color anymore. Uh, like I said, unless it's an accident or it's an older image uh, from an older camera that I just forgot to change uh, the settings for, I'm pretty much not going to be using Adobe Color anymore. I think that it's Adobe Destructive Color. It's doing some really bad things to the image that I'm going to have to chase my tail for. You know, one of those things I was talking about as I move in here, if I change this to Adobe Color, look at how harsh those blue lines are right there. But if I change this to something like Camera Neutral, we don't have those harsh blue lines. Those harsh blue lines are something that, that would drive me nuts in the workflow to fix that. And it's being forced in there because of Adobe Color. So that made me question, what else is being forced into this image that I don't like because of uh, Adobe Color? So we've got this now set to the camera neutral profile. The problem is, is when I open up a different image from this set, what will happen is uh, the camera neutral profile won't be set for that. It'll be set to Adobe Color. So how do we make it so every image that we pull in from our camera is set to either camera neutral or Adobe standard? Well, here's what we need to do. So let's go up to our settings. And then in our settings, you're going to see general file handling, performance and defaults. Okay. So in this default section, we can actually change when we pull in a file from our camera, how Adobe camera all reads that immediately from the get go. So what you'll see here is that I have available cameras. The only available camera that's going to show me in this dropdown is the camera for the raw file that is currently open. You'll see that my Mark III, my A7R III, already has this preset for camera NT selected. So that means that anytime I open up a Sony A7R III file, it will default to the camera neutral profile. So what we need to do in order to ensure that this camera opens with the camera neutral profile is we need to make a preset first and then we tell Adobe Camera Raw or Lightroom, this is what I want you to do anytime something opens from the Sony A1 camera. So I'll press OK on this for now because it doesn't really matter. All right, so what we need to do is make a preset. Now the default for this, if you open this up, is going to be Adobe Color, right? So what we want to do is we want to change this right now before we make the preset, change this to the profile that you want it to be. So I want this to be the camera NT profile, okay? So now what I'm going to do is go over to the presets, and I'm going to click on the new preset icon. And here, look at all of this stuff that's checked. It's basically everything that I've done on this image. I'm going to press the alt or option key and then click on the camera NT profile. What that's basically saying is the only thing that is going to be recorded into this preset is the profile. So I'll call this Sony a one, not sun a one, Sony a one camera. NT. Okay. So now I'm going to save that into my user presets. I know that this is the Sony a one. I can't type. I don't know why this is doing this, uh, but this is set to the Sony a one camera neutral profile, and it's going to be saved into my user presets. I could change that to any group I want to. I'll just keep it in my user presets. And the only thing that I want in here is the camera NT profile and I'll press. Okay. So now what happens is I need to go up to this gear icon. I'm going to go up to the settings. You can see in the default section here, we want to change this preset. So anytime the Sony a one camera comes into a file from the Sony a one camera comes into Adobe camera Raw, we click this drop down. I'm going to go to choose preset. I'm gonna to go to my user presets and we called that one Sony a one camera NT. So now I'll press create default and you'll see that it adds it to the camera model section down below. And then I can press okay. So now what's going to happen is anytime a file that has Sony ILCE one attached to it is opened up into Adobe camera roll. It will automatically set that to camera NT. So now I know so long as everything's working properly in my raw editor here, every Sony a one file will open with the camera NT profile attached to it instead of Adobe color. And like I said, if you don't have a camera neutral profile, or if you don't like your camera neutral profile, Adobe standard could be a good profile for that to open with too. This is a good way to get started off on the right foot so that you don't end up trying to chase your tail around all of those things that we don't like about Adobe Color. I will have to mention though, if you're used to having that vibrant color that you get from Adobe Color, you're not going to have it quite as much as you did before.
That's why you're going to need to lean on things like your color mixer, especially your point color to get that color back to where you want it to be. Maybe even calibration to force in a little bit more of that saturation into a specific color that you're not getting because of that neutral profile there. But the reason why I like this, yes, you have to do a little bit more extra work with your color, but you know exactly what's happening with that color work. You get to move these sliders in a way that's going to be beneficial for your image instead of you trying to work against Adobe color. All right, so you've got a mission. Go off and make your profile and change your default. That is, of course, if you don't like Adobe color. And if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing because I like to take difficult things in Photoshop and Adobe Camera Raw and make them seemingly simple so you can use them in your workflow today.